Excel Release is an end-to-end -end pipeline orchestrator that lets you manage, control, and visualize your software delivery pipelines so you can find problems, fix them early, and optimize the process. In this video, we'll look at a typical pipeline that you can run whenever a developer checks a code change into source control. I'm Tom Batcher from ZB Labs, and in this video I'd like to take a look at using XR Release. To orchestrate a pipeline that's going to run typically as part of a, a development process every time code is checked into source control, where we wish to provision a new environment, um, get that environment configured, get an application built and deployed onto there, and get that application tested so it can validate whatever work was just committed. So I have that pipeline here in XR Release. Um, before I get this started, I just want to quickly touch on the, uh, the release trigger. Um, so I'm going to start this by hand, but we also have release triggers that can go and check into source control. Um, so for example, here, this git trigger, this would execute this pipeline every time there's a commit or a pull request is approved. So see here, I have my pipeline. So I'm going to get this guy started. I'm going to call him video just for, because we're recording this video today. I'm going to get this guy created. I'm just going to hit start. And as this is running, I'm going to explain the, uh, the different steps in a little bit more detail around what's happening here. Um, so here I have my provisioning step. So in this case, I'm going to leverage Excel Deploy in the background. So Excel Release is calling into Excel Deploy um, using its uh, Excel Scale functionality in order to go ahead and provision out all the machines we want for the environment. So this is really focused on provisioning out that base hardware, arranging that into the notion of an environment. So grouping together in this case is going to be a, a web server, an application server, and a database server, understanding how to connect to those guys, etc. We have some very brief chef that we run on this. We want to keep it quick for, for the folks of the demonstration. We just use some remote scripting functionality in this case to run some server spec on that, um, just to make sure we built that guy okay. Um, once we've done that, that's our provisioning and infrastructure piece done. Uh, we then move on to, in this case, we're going to have the, the Jenkins step. So the Jenkins is going to go ahead, execute and get our application built. Of course, once that's built, we want to deploy that into the environment that we just created. So we have our application stood up and then we go into our uh, testing tool. In this case, we're leveraging Excel test to go ahead and, and run some Cucumber. So we actually have a manual step here, which is a certify package, but it gives us a moment to pause and just draw breath a little bit. And let's check in on some of those steps. So if I have a look in Excel deploy into my repository, um, I can actually go ahead. I can see I've got some infrastructure pieces here, which have these uh, sort of slightly unique identifier on the end. These are the guys that were provisioned out by the uh, Excel scale functionality. It was put into an environment called DevM, which I can see contains the web server, database server, and application server. Um, if I go and check into Jenkins, we can go ahead and see if I refresh this guy, we can see about a minute ago now, we had the uh, build of the application. So this is the, the Jenkins build that we kicked off through XR release. Um, and then we deploy, then we did the testing. So let's take a quick look at the testing. So if I go to my test runs, here I can see the test run that just executed is certified as true. So we're saying that this test run was passed and was good. And we can see it's all green. If I go drill down, have a look into my dashboard, I can see the different tests I had. I can see the duration trend. I can see that uh, we appear to be always passing our tests, so it looks like we're uh, submitting some great code. So things are going pretty well. We can move forward and everything's all certified. If I uh, just go back to XR release, I can then say, okay, that's just my final manual step. I'm happy. I would like to certify this. And then we're going to move through into the destroy. Now in the real world, there'd be different things that would be happening. Maybe we would tag that build as being a certified good build. Maybe this template goes on. Maybe we then push this out into our uh, integration environment or maybe we want to do that on a nightly basis and, and we group these guys up into it's more of a train idea uh, really doesn't matter too much so we can see here this is completed so if i go into my uh, deployment tool i should see that i uh, should no longer have that new infrastructure and i should no longer have that environment either so then we're ready for the next people to come we don't have vms hanging around etc so that was just a brief look at how we can leverage XR release to pull together an automated pipeline that takes care of provisioning, uh, takes care of things like Chef, could easily be Salt, Puppet, or something like that. Does builds, does deployments, and also does testing and manages those results through Excel test. From provisioning and configuring environments, to building and deploying applications, 
to running automated tests. Excel Release helps you streamline your software release pipelines and start delivering value continuously. To try Excel Release today, visit zbialabs.com.